Hi, and welcome again to another Deck Tech. Today, we bring you Caesar, Legion's Emperor, from the Hail Caesar Fallout Precon deck. This is the Faith Commander for the deck, and it's a 4-4 that costs 1 red, 1 white, 1 black, and 1 colorless. It reads, Whenever you attack, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do, choose 2. Create 2 1-1 one, one red and white soldier creature tokens with haste. They are tapped and attacking. You draw a card and you lose 1 life. Or, Caesar's Legion Emperor deals damage equal to the number of creature tokens you control to target opponents. So, there are a lot of paths that could have taken with these abilities. We could go for a Soldier or Human Typo deck, for an Anistocrats deck, Token Creation, and Sacrifice Team. Although we have included and maintained a lot of the Human and Soldiers from the deck, we chose to go for the Token Creation path and Sacrifice, which we'll get on further. The secondary commander for the deck is Mr. House, President and CEO. We will not talk about much about this card since it does not synergize with the rest of the deck and there are very few cards that came into it that really work well with him. Our strategy for this deck will be token creation with small mana value creatures that produce those tokens when attacking or entering the battlefield or with token creation spells. We have also added some aristocrat creatures in order to benefit from these and enchantments that will ping our opponents for damage to pressure our opponents even more. We made sure that the deck is redundant, so we have added a lot of cards with similar effects so that we can make sure that we can still play the game if for some reason we cannot play with our commander. Let's start with the cards that we have removed from the original pre-con deck. In terms of creatures, we have removed a total of 18 that came in the deck. Aradesh the Founder, Boomer Scrapper, Desdemona Freedom's Edge, EDE Lonesome Ebot. Gary Clone. This one is a 1 3 for 1 colorless and 1 white, that whenever it attacks, each creature named Gary Clone gets plus 1 plus 0 until the end of turn. It has the squad mechanic, a mechanic introduced in the Warhammer 40,000 commander decks that states that as an additional cost to that spell, you may pay 2, in this case, an additional number of times. And when it enters the battlefield, we can create that many tokens that are copies of it. As a personal preference, I do not like the squad mechanic that much, at least here, since we end up spending a lot of mana if we want to create more tokens or cast it for its normal costs, and not create that much value or board presence as it would seem. Impassionate Orator. Keeper of the Accord. Kellogg, Dangerous Mind. Such a great card and probably one of our favorites of the deck. We will include this one on a more treasure-based deck. He could also be a great commander, and we will probably see a lot of those with him. Legate, Lanius Caesar's Ace. Another great card, but not a token creator, and it does not synergize with this path that we have taken. Mr. House, President and CEO, the alternative commander of this deck. Mysterious Stranger. Fun card that we will certainly include on other decks, it just didn't have a slot here. Overseer of Vault 76. We felt this one as a little slow, although it does work well with the deck. Powder Ganger. Another creature with squads that destroys artifacts. We felt it does not do enough and it ends up needing a bit of a mana investment. Ruthless Red Rat. We don't have a lot of self meal here, so not the best to include. Sierra Nuka's biggest fan. Thrill Kill Disciple. It has a squad cost and a discard cost and it gives us very little in return. Yes Man Personal Security Trunk. This card reads, Tap, target opponent gains control of Yes Man. When they do, you draw two cards and put the quest counter on Yes Man. Activate only during your turn. Wild card. When Yes Man leaves the battlefield, its owner creates a tapped 1-1 one -one white soldier creature token for each quest counter on it. Although a fun political card, giving the opponents the ability to draw two cards seems too much value, since they can tap for the ability as well and give it to another opponent. Butch Deloria. In terms of spells, we have removed two sorceries. Heroic Reinforcements, the Nipton Lottery. This would work better on a Sacrifice deck or Chaos deck since you choose the creature at random. We have removed the following three artifacts. Charisma Bobblehead, Luck Bobblehead. These two seem great with the alternative commander, and if you have all seven of these, luck will certainly be a very satisfying way to win the game. Survivor's Mad Kit. It does offer some good options with very few investments, however it is taking up one slot and not doing enough. Finally, we have removed the falling 8 enchantments. Assemble the Legion. Although very on theme, a bit costly on mana and slow for what we are trying to achieve. Black Market. 
also a bit costly on mana, although a great card, but not for what we are trying to do here as well. Intangible Virtue does not do enough, since we are focusing more on draining and not on combat. Marshall's Anthem It does have a great effect, but the multi-kicker makes it a bit slow. Tolan's Strategy Great card on many decks, but we are focusing more on our game plan and not on a stealing strategy for value. Vault 11 Voter Dilemma Great and fun card for a political deck, not here. Vault 75 Middle School Almost made the cut, but since our commander has power 4, we really do not want him to get exiled. Wild Wastelands we can find better ways to draw. We will not mention changes to lands, since this will depend on the budget you are willing to spend. So now, let's talk about the cards that we have added to the deck. We have added the following token enablers. Adlin Resplendent Cathar, Anim Pakal, Charismatic Conqueror, Company Commander, Goblin Rabblemaster, Karizev Skyship Raider, Loyal Apprentice, Mahadi Emporium Master, Mirel Shield of Argive, Professional Facebreaker, Kainite Vanguard, Squee Dubious Monarch. In terms of spells, Deploy to the Front, Increasing Devotion, Martial Coup. Now, to benefit from all this token creation and deal some good amount of damage and drain effects while always trying to stay on team, we have added the following Brutal Horde Chief, Commissar Severina Rain, Corpse Knight. Elish Ilkor, Sadistic Pilgrim, Mirkwood Bats, Purfurush, God of the Forge, Zulaport, Cutthroat. With all these token creation and attack triggers, we thought of adding a bit of extra protection to our creatures with the following Boromir, Warden of the Tower, Jirina, Dauntless General, Flawless Maneuver. We have added a total of 6 enchantments to the deck, one of them a combo piece which we will mention later on. These are Anointed Procession. A powerful token doubler if you are willing to spend the money. Breath of Fury. This is here also as a combo piece with our commander that we will explain further on. Court of Embreth. When Court of Embreth enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 3 1 Red Knight creature token. Then, if you're the monarch, it deals X damage to its opponents, where X is the number of creatures you control. Impact Tremors. War Leader's Call. So, we can ping our opponents for damage each time a creature enters the battlefield. Smothering Tide for turns of value. As for our mentioned combo in the deck, we have our commander Caesar with Breath of Fury. Caesar must be on the battlefield. Breath of Fury must be on the battlefield. Breath of Fury attached to another creature you control that does not have summoning sickness. An opponent cannot block creatures you control and you control at least one additional creature, excluding the creature that has Breath of Fury attached. Declare the creature with Breath of Fury attached as an attacker. Caesar triggers, causing you to sacrifice another creature you control and create two 1-1 Soldier creature tokens with haste that are tapped and attacking. Deal combat damage using the creature that has Breath of Fury attached. Breath of Fury triggers, causing you to sacrifice the creature it is attached to, then attach Breath of Fury to a Soldier token then causing you to untap all creatures you control and to get an additional combat phase after this one. Repeat each combat phase, resulting in infinite combat damage, death triggers and untapping of creatures. Let us know what you think. What cards would you add or remove and how would you build this commander? Would you take this path or another? We would love to hear what you think. Thank you and see you soon!